Look at that spinning up. Revs high as well. The height rev, 7,000. Wow, this is a fast car, man. I can't even believe how fast this is. Speed hump, no. keep up when I speed up. No. See a future, that's my past. Yeah. See the smoke when I drive past. Yeah. Fast lane, living life. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going for a drive in a Mark II Focus ST running a Stage 1 Dream Science tune. Roughly 300-ish horsepower. Some of you will know that I owned one of these cars once upon a time. In fact, it's the longest car I've ever owned. Four years I had a Focus ST for. This is a facelift. First thing we want to do is uh, turn the traction off and crack down the window. Yeah, man, <laughs> this is a nice car, you know that. <laughs> Must be 10 years. Yeah, it's roughly 10 years since I owned my Mark II. It's a car that I bought on finance, so I financed the vehicle. Uh, I didn't go out of my way to buy a Focus ST. One of my friends owned a dealership. I walked in and this was the best car I could see. So I was literally like, yeah, man, I'll take the Focus. I remember at first when I bought it, I had to really adapt my driving style, like, because it's front wheel drive, it puts power down different. You know, these cars have got open diffs, there's no LSD. So really got to work to sort of, I'm talking from a handling perspective, guys. These are really fast cars in a straight line, but handling is where they do need a little bit of work. But just for anyone unaware, it's got the 2.5 litre turbocharged engine, so it's five cylinders. Have a listen. We've got a Miltec exhaust. I think it might be decat downpipe. Definitely back box. And uh, these are six speed manuals from factory. Wow, it really does move as well. taken straight out of the Volvos and as you know the old Volvos they're used to towing like you know caravans and heavy trailers and stuff so these cars they produce a lot of low down torque 225 horsepower from factory 236 foot-pounds of torque but they react very very well off of a tune my car was probably like stage 2 plus it had a the dream science mod x kit so it's 305 horsepower 350 360 foot-pounds of torque very underestimated cars man and uh, this is a really nice example guys we paid just over seven grand uh, it's finished in a pearl white but yeah i didn't even know that um ford did this color with the st don't remember this st feeling this good like obviously open diff there's no limited slip diff i'm very surprised it feels very accurate the steering like it's not the heaviest wheel Pulling through nice, it's not pulling me all over the road. Tiniest hint of torque steer. absorbing the bumps nice the car is lowered sitting on mark II focus rs alloys we have got a tall tire so yeah nice and cushioned let's throw it into here as i say it's like look at that spinning up revs high as well man i'm surprised at how fast this is you know that 
you can't beat a five cylinder, hundred percent. Just like the RS3 we just uploaded. Bro, it's a real train, man. Tons of torque. Just imagining I had one of these when I was, uh, yeah, when I was about 24. Some of these guys are out in 550 brake RS3s at 24. But I remember this car. I never lost a race, man. I swear to God. Okay, that's a lie. I lost to one car. I lost to an Audi S4, you know, the bi-turbo ones. I remember staying with an Evo. There were so many cars that you can keep up in these cars. As I say, you can pick these up for like three grand. There was a block mod you had to do with these if you wanted to go above 300 horsepower. Dream Science, they've been in the game for donkeys. Anybody that's, anyone that's got a Focus ST, highly recommend checking them guys out, man. Never had a problem with my cars. That's why I love these cars. I'm a fan. I don't give a hell. I don't, I don't give a crap, man. I am a fan of the Focus ST without fail. I just think they look awesome. They're durable cars. Yeah, the gearbox never let me down. Obviously, a lot of you car enthusiasts will know, but you've obviously got the Mark II Focus RS, which ironed out a load of the problems with the ST. You know, they reworked the suspension. They did install the differential, if I remember correctly. I mean, I remember me and my friend tearing about here an RS. I had the ST, which, you know, probably just ran lowering springs, but the, the RS capability-wise, handling-wise, throwing it into corners is, 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 a, is definitely a different animal. Guys, I'm just waiting for the traffic to calm down and I uh, wanted to go over this week's competition So I'm doing something really exciting something completely different. So to win this Focus ST basically tickets are 249 right two pound 49 that enters you into win 20,000 pound cash plus one of our 250 instant wins the Focus ST is included as one of our instant wins. So when you buy a ticket, head back over to the website, look at the ticket number next to the Focus ST, and you may have instantly won this car right this second. So we've got other instant wins, like a bunch of thousand pounds, load of 500s, 250s, we've got site credits. Hoping you guys understand what I'm talking about, but I've got to take this corner now. Nice, yeah, it's nice, you know that. I like the fact it's got an open diff, it just, you know, like when you've got a diff, I've heard it from a lot of modified owners, a lot of people that have got modified cars, they tend to complain about having an LSD on their high powered car. Of course, like your car is going to be not as capable, not having a limited slip diff. But what you notice is it can be a bit all over the road when you've got an LSD on a front wheel drive car. A lot of a lot of owners, and I know it sounds a bit crazy, but honestly, some of these owners with three, 400 horsepower front wheel drive cars prefer an open diff. It just feels a little bit more manageable. Wow, I love the gearbox on this car, you know that. It's a real, like, uh, it's light, but very mechanical and yeah, it just, it feels just right, man. It feels very robust, like it's not gonna break. It doesn't feel spongy, it just feels, I don't know, I don't even know how to put it into words really, but what I can say is after four years of beating the shit out of my Focus ST, never did I have a problem with the gearbox. Second gear. Look at height rev, 7,000. Wow, this is a fast car, man. I can't even believe how fast this is. Jesus. It sounds awesome. It's definitely a bit muffled from inside the cabin. You can hear that Miltec. In my opinion, one of the best exhaust manufacturers. Brakes are good. This is a really, really nice spec car. You can also check the full spec on the website. Uh, we've got this retrimmed flat bottom wheel. It's got blue leather stitching. Yeah, it's like new basically. You've got the blue Ford badge. It's a nice, nice car, man. So yeah, guys, I am going to be filming everything I get in now. I'm going to be throwing them up on the YouTube because why not, man? It's cool. Like, of course, it, I, I promote the business, but I do enjoy sort of taking these cars for drives and it's nice to be back in the focus.
I just like how you head towards 7,000 RPM and it doesn't hit a wall, you know what I mean? It, it kind of still goes through and you can change gear even if you over rev it. It's really nice, really nice to drive. And it's a clean example, really clean car, guys. Let's get them windows done. Oh, sound good, boy. Matching heel and toe is so nice, man. You've got a real analog throttle. Every part of the throttle does something, you know? And it instantly responds. And as you get it onto its limits, you know it's on its limits, you know to back off. It's not a car that you've got to sort of discover you're going to crash last second. You kind of know to, you know, progressively push it. So guys, we're back in the unit. I thought I'd do you a quick walk around before I end the video. So here she is, the Mark II Focus ST, finished in pearlescent white. Not sure if that's the actual code, but you can see the blues, the purples, almost a bit of pink. You can see, man, real flaky paintwork, really good condition. You can see it comes with the Isle of Man plates because the previous owner used to live over there. You can just swap them out for normal registrations. But I just think it's a really nice car. You've got the Miltec exhaust system. You can see the diffuser. That, has, that also comes on the LCIs or the facelifts. You've also got the facelifted tail lights, which is a mod that I did on my pre-facelift. You've got the blistered arches, sitting on the Mark II Focus RS alloys. It's tinted all round. And is it just me, guys? I Obviously, I'm gonna sound a bit biased because I've owned one, but I just think it's a really nice looking car, man. I don't think it's aged at all, man. 2008, 2009, this car. Obviously, you've got the upgraded headlights, different style bumper. And yeah, there she is, people. What else do I say? You heard the engine, 2.5 turbo, five cylinder. So guys, I'm gonna end the video any second. I know, I know people, look at the hair. I'm looking like some grizzly bear, literally. But remember, as I said at the start of the video, you can win this car instantly right this second. If you've already bought an entry, make sure to head back to the website to the instant win section and see if your number matches the Focus ST. There's over 250 wins. There's a bunch of thousands, a bunch of 500s, 250s. There's site credits. And as you know, the Focus ST is also an instant win and also, you got the Megan Cup 250 over there, which you can instantly win. So guys, I am gonna end it there. As always, if you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you soon. Girl in my hotel that's five stars yeah. Make the roof yeah. disappear